Ever since we've had the quince and got experience to what it is to have preemies and be in the NICU, I've always been touched by the amazing grace God has given us, but the love and support that we have had from so many people. Hey, Princess. This is Riley. Oh, gosh. I just couldn't envision going through that without having my husband, my family. There were just families there who were there by themselves. Some kids, some babies there without loved ones. It's been one of the things in the back of my heart to say, what can I do for those moms? How can I help them know that it's a day-by-day -day process? I wanted to get involved with a charity that basically helped with that. There was people at our hospital that were just literally volunteer people who would just go in and hold your children. And guess who needed that? We needed that, because we had five babies in there and we could not get to hold them every day. Kind of just came up with this idea of, you know, we have this business and it's an indoor cycling studio. You see the pretty lights? Whoa. And so how about we use this and people book a bike and all the proceeds go to the charity. And that's what we did. This event is gonna be the first time people actually see this studio. We pushed ourselves through a timeline of trying to get this done before we opened the studio to have this charitable ride. I wanted it to be perfect. It was definitely stressful because I didn't know if I was doing something wrong or if I was gonna mess up or if people are gonna show up. It was amazing to see the support that showed up, the people that rode, my doctors showed up and that just meant the world. It was hard, but you know what? I can't wait for next year because now I know what to do even better. <laughs> Nailed it! Woo! Yeah,